Here you can see in this picture a clear case of uh, a split neck. Uh, at this moment in time it's a partial split because it's not split all the way through to the um, top. But as you can see it's split far enough to make this case is totally unusable once again. Um, the cause for this is uh, being used several times. Uh, what would help alleviate this would be annealing. Um, a classic sample example of the brass getting hard at the top of the neck uh, through um, overuse, overstress and, and splitting. Uh, this case you can see uh, is quite a big split to the neck going all the way through to the top this time so you could actually get the brass neck and uh, move it apart that's actually split all the way through. Um, this is caused by uh, overuse again uh, and um, if you look just below it directly down from the split you can on the top third of the shoulder where the shoulder meets the neck in the lightish spot just where the camera light is you can just see a slight indentation this is a classic sign of a hydraulic dent caused by over lubrication at size and um, when you size with too much lubricant in there yeah, all that pressure has got to go somewhere and it, it creates a hydraulic um, dent as you can see here this case is uh, once again totally unusable if you were to use it you'd have catastrophic failure and um, well you'd be putting your gun yourself at a great danger okay it's not safe don't use them in this picture this is a horrific uh, looking case uh, you can see that the shoulder and the neck has collapsed uh, I would imagine this has been done under sizing um, and the neck has been pushed down inside the case obviously the case is now uh, totally unusable um, okay Another picture here of uh, a case top totally uh, knackered. Um, this is caused by misalignment uh, at the point of uh, neck sizing. It's just caught the top of the uh, size and die not correctly, and it, I mean the force just not been noticed. It's uh, been absolutely deformed under the pressure of the ram on the uh, size and press. Um, once again it's totally knackered, you can't do anything with it, sling it away. Okay. Here in this picture you can see a, is a classic example of overpressure. Um, if you look at the top, this is the, looking at the case head. Um, looking at 12 o'clock just to the left of the F, uh, you can see a small indentation which is caused by the extractor. And if you go to three o'clock, you can see a just to the below and right to this of the sea. You can just see um, a slight mark where the bolt face has caught the back of the case. What it is is uh, overpressure in the case, and has forced the the um, actual case head back into the bolt onto the f uh, bolt face, causing the engraving. Uh, just below the be between the F and the C, you can actually see more indentation. Okay. If you get cases like this, you need to keep a real eye on them because um, they can become oversized in the web, which is the actual um, where you get the rim of the case. If you go up, or in this picture, if you go down to be beyond the rim and then measure the widest part of the case, it can be oversized. These are all pressure signs, okay? And obviously, we're all looking for these pressure signs, but this is the classic. Um, Two stiffer loads is usually the case for this. Um, um, too much powder. What you you need to when you work your loads up, you need to keep an eye out for these sorts of things. Okay. Um, if you if you stick with this, you'll end up. Well, you can reuse these cases, but they need resize and full end size. And um, moving while we're on this picture, you can also get what they call loose primer pockets. Again, through pressure expanding. Um, if you remove a, a case from a gun and you uh, lift the bolt up and it's really stiff and then you pull the case out and your primer drops out you've got massive pressure problems do not use the loads you're using for that you know that load and you're using in your cases they are not safe okay uh, usually you'll get the markings like this like I've explained as an early warning and then you'll get the stiff bolt lift and then the loose primer pockets. 
Uh, beyond that, you're working at very dangerous pressures, so be wary of what you look got, got here. If you're getting these results, you, I mean, you need to change your load, drop your load down and rework it up so it's safe. The, I mean, you shouldn't get these marks, okay? Either the, the marking on the actual case head, near the F and the C as I explained, or, loose, or when you take a case out of your rifle and your primers fall out, it's not good. In this picture we can see these two cases, they've both got dents around the shoulder. What's causing this is uh, hydraulic denting. Uh, it's, the by, it's caused by the process of too much lubricant at the time of when you're either full end sizing or neck sizing. The lubricant gets crammed against the shoulder and under pressure when you actually uh, stroke the ram up and uh, start to actually resize it's got nowhere to go except for the inwards because obviously the brass will be softer than the uh, die being steel so it will actually cause a, a uh, hydraulic dent uh, the answer is uh, don't use too much lubricant same picture here um, of the two cases showing the hydraulic dents just but from a different angle okay uh, moving on to this picture, you can see that uh, it's a funny looking case uh, uh, with a bullet seated. The main cause here is the wrong calibre bullet for the wrong case neck. Uh, I think the uh, calibre, the bullet calibre was 30 cal. Not sure what the uh, actual case neck size was meant to be. But as you can see, it's been forced in through the seating and uh, so much pressure involved, the neck is actually pushed inside side the shoulders. Uh, looking at this picture, it's not too uh, uh, unnoticeable what the problem is. It's split along the body. Any splits like this need to be uh, the cases need to be disregarded straight away. They're not safe. Uh, this is probably caused by uh, fatigue in the case and uh, uh, a lot of use. Lastly, we have a classic example of a big hydraulic uh, dent. In the in the neck in the case wall of the case, um, cases like this, you can actually uh, load them, fire them, and the the hydraulic links should blow out again. Uh, there's no neck damage, no shoulder damage. It's a case, say, a straightforward case of just blowing the body back out. Um, just be wary though. Once you've done it, any splits or uh, other embrasures can occur. Just keep an eye out for them. So that's basically um, my little. Uh, to uh, upload on uh, case faults. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.